Hello everyone and welcome back to You Can Gourmet with Gazpacho. Okay, this is a throwback from my professional cooking days, but no summer would be complete without it. So for this refreshing cold tomato soup, you will need four or five vine ripened tomatoes, a red onion, a bell pepper, your color of choice, one cucumber, some garlic cloves, a cup of tomato juice, of course you'll need a tablespoon of Worcestershire, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of cumin, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, now this is a very challenging dish to put together. I mean, it's going to test you through and through. Not really. Not even a little bit. Go ahead and just cut up your veggies. It's all going to go into the food processor. Make sure when you clean your bell peppers though, you take the white veins and of course all the seeds out. Those white veins, that membrane leaves a bitter taste in your bell pepper. Peel your cucumber. If you're using English cucumber, you don't have to deseed it. If you're using a regular cucumber like I am here, I'll take the seeds out. And you'll notice that I kept some of the veggies on the side. I've just diced so I can have as a garnish that we'll top off our plate with. As you get everything peeled, chopped, cleaned up, dump it all into that food processor. Once it goes into the food processor, well, I shouldn't have to tell you. But what I will tell you is the mistake I made, and that's overloading mine. I don't have to do that. I'm going to make it in a few batches. There's no need to get carried away try to do it all at once. The secret to this gazpacho is always going to be the sweetness of the tomatoes, right? So. The sweeter the tomato, the more desired result you'll have. However, if your tomatoes aren't as sweet, you can try to use a red bell pepper. It's sweeter than a green bell pepper. I like a green bell. It kind of offsets it. It's not quite as sweet. But to each their own. Play with it. See what you like. Give it a pulse. Make sure everything is incorporated. Another thing you can do is you can de-seed your tomatoes. So take the seeds out and that way it'll make it an even thinner consistency you can push it through a, a fine mesh strainer if you want a real velvety soup I like a little crunch and a little crisp that's why I even kept some of the veg to garnish the top but here we go we're just gonna keep pulsing it through and get to that desired consistency that we want now we'll go ahead and throw in our tomato juice our Worcestershire sauce along with the balsamic vinegar that I've got mixed in there with it. No point in dirtying two dishes. Get all that dumped in. Give it another quick pulse. Again, make sure everything is well incorporated. So we've added our salt and pepper and the cumin of course. Give it a quick taste. Make sure it doesn't need anything. Now this gazpacho is going to taste totally different after it sits in the refrigerator for a few hours or even overnight, which is better yet. Mine, I realized, you know what, here's some extra virgin olive oil sitting on the counter that'll really freshen it up even more, bring another little layer of flavor to it. Pulse that in and go for some more. In all honesty, I just like playing with this toy. I don't know why. It's just a lot of fun to me. Anyway, enough of that. So I taste it again. I realized, you know what, we can go in a different direction with this. I found a lime. <laughs> I find all sorts of stuff in my kitchen, it seems. But lo and behold, there's a lime. I said, why not? Let's give it a squeeze, add it to it, and see what direction this takes us. Again, I, I joke, but food allows us to do that. We can go in many different directions, and we don't know until we give it a shot. See what these flavor profiles do add this remove some of that change it up each time and have fun with it until you find a recipe you like and then you can keep it as is or change it up again what do I care to your recipe however I do suggest adding just a pinch of sugar to it between the tomato balsamic vinegar and the lime there's a lot of acidity and a pinch of sugar really just cuts all of that go ahead and give it another quick pulse make sure it's dissolved well incorporated and now you can just go ahead and store it in a airproof container or a bowl with some saran wrap let it chill in the refrigerator for two to three hours overnight is best and then serve it cold with some toast next to a salad works great whatever you want to do 
but it's a great, great soup to serve in the summertime. It's very refreshing and cool. Anyway, enough about it. Go make it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it turns out for you. Give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, all that good stuff. And look, we just gourmet gazpacho.